Oh, all right, gang. Well, suppose we need to go and... Well, Pix is already on it, it seems. Uh, time to cut some metal with. Uh, sure I'll be able to find something lying about. And with that, uh, Victor will kind of turn and go towards where Pixie is currently going. Uh, where, should, where did Pixie go? Um, not where she, she's going. She's actually looking around where there's like a little behind thing. If there's anything behind the stores, it looks like, um, well, where people are carrying stuff, building stuff, preparing stuff. Workers working behind the scenes. Just looking for those. Restocking stalls. Every single stall is manned. I'd say occasionally you'll see one person behind a set of the stalls moving something. Oh, just for reason's sake, I'll say at this stall over here, you see someone behind it. Uh, propping up some crates. Uh, sorry, which star was that again? Uh, this one here, oh, near the big yeah. top. Same ones out there, uh, Kinky went to earlier. Okay, I've just so I can focus on the map. Okay, so she'll go... She'll try to sneak up from behind and see if they are carrying anything like... A knife or wire cut or something like that. Okay, roll stealth. Okay, they don't notice you. You look the mover. They have rope tied to one hip, some carpentry tools on the other, and a crowbar in hand they're using to jimmy open one of the crates. Inside the crates, uh, you see different little trinkets. Seems to be like key rings. Uh, looking close at the carpentry tools, if there's anything that would be made for cutting. Uh, it's more along the line. Actually, you know what? Would the carpentry tools involve a chisel, I wonder? No, it would stand to reason that it would. See, one of the tools is a chisel. Someone will probably correct me on that at some point, but still. <laughs> For the sake of this, it is. Pix is going to try to map that. Yeah, well, to have rules. Exactly. Roll sleight of hand. Regular advantage. You're in stealth, so advantage. Fair point. Okay, yeah, you just have right slip out that chisel and the hammer with it. What's the hand guard down? They don't notice. <laughs> okay, making my way further back or further along, so. Um. As you're making your way back, <laughs> you hear. Ah, oh, I swore I brought them with me. God damn it, I left them behind again. Ah, oh, Philip's gonna kill me. Your footsteps going away. Looking where they're going. Uh, they disappear behind the hall of illusions. Still trying to stay stealthy and behind trying to follow them. <coughs> Roll stealth again with advantage. Okay, they keep on going, they go past the Hall of Illusions and stop at this stall over here. He goes into the wagon at the back and starts rooting around for things. Starts cursing slightly under his breath. Getting pokes his head out. There. Say again? Uh, on the map it looks like there's a tree close by. So she's gonna try to get up in there, sit on a branch. <laughs> Uh, sit on the bridge. Branch. Oh, branch. Okay, branch. Hidden, hidden in the crown of the tree, a little hidden in the leaves. Uh, that one there. Yeah. Okie dokie. 
I was going to say you're able to do it with that roll. Uh, you see him poke his head out. Philip! The back door to that little stall opens, and an elf pokes his head out. What? Have you seen my rug carving tools? What do you mean have you seen my rug? Where do you put them last? Um, I, I thought I took them with me. Well, you obviously didn't see I haven't got them, have you? He comes over, he smacks him on the back of the head. He starts rummaging around mm -hmm. him with him in the back of the tr uh, little truck there. After a few minutes, uh, they both step back. Philip looks down at the other elf. Sorry, I didn't miss this. I was an elf. Well, what do you last use them? I am. Um, when we were setting up, <coughs> looks over towards the stall. Are they under the stall again? Um, uh, maybe. Ah, oh, for Christ's sake! We got to wait until it, this buddy gets magic back inside. Okay. Go to one of the other stalls, just ask them for your wood carving for their wood carving tools and whatever. Philip goes back inside the stall, slams the door behind him, and the other elf, his ears drooping, walks around the stall to the front into the main for of her, walks up to the nearest stall and starts asking if he can borrow their tools. As soon as Philip's inside, um, I'm the poor loser guy is out of you. Um, Vicky will try to sneak into the wagon. We're also not going to have your roll at this point. I was going to say you managed to sneak in quite easily. Uh, you have no reason to believe you're there. Have a look around if Eric's have tools, like particular something like a wire cutter or something like that. Among those things. Hmm. But also regular scissors. Simple cutting string scissors. As you look around this, you see mostly other types of woodworking tools. You see quite a few saws, uh, nails, hammers. I say there's no scissors. It seems to be a very wood workshop kind of setup that they have. There's sleeping uh, things in there as well. There's some food. I'm going to drop the hammer in the middle of the workbench. Like the, the hammer she accidentally picked up. Okay. Just putting that in the middle of the table or something. Dropping like, it or placing it? Hmm? Dropping it or placing, placing it? it. Placing it. Okie dokie. Leaving it behind there. Not not making a loud noise, just putting it somewhere it will be very visible next time. Okie dokie. And she's out of there. A little annoyed, but yeah. And trying to turn on her big sensor. See if she can find him. Um, I'd probably say that Vic was moving towards uh, Pixie's general direction. Like, um, how fast were you going over there? Were you trying to outpace him, or were you kind of moving slowly enough that you had an idea of where you were going? I was following behind the guy, so I was keeping that pace and staying behind. I'm not sure if you saw me go to the back of this. Um, where can I need to roll? At this point. Right, so things played out wise, I would have changed some of the rules. Because I mean, if you rolled like a twenty on stealth, that would also make you inconspicuous from Victor himself, I imagine. Um, so how far would you say Vic Victor got before he lost sight of Pixie? Then in that case, said so pretty much quite quickly, to be honest. Given he darted around that corner, he gone around the corner, you would have lost sight. Okay, fair enough. So uh, Vic's probably not. Sort of that near, so I suppose it's going to be more you. I, I suppose um, when uh, Vic, I, sorry, to probably going towards the stalls, expecting him to be somewhere there around the area of the big top and the stalls close to the big top, going in that direction and then seeing if she can find him. I suppose technically one of us could roll perception to see if they notice the other when Pixie's making herself less scarce. Well, what would you have done when 
uh, you lost track of him? Um, I think really he would just generally be looking around the area where he last saw. I mean, if you said that he she's lost... back anyway, it won't matter. Yeah. Then. Yeah. So, like, if she's coming back the way that came, yeah, Vic's just probably going to still be in the general area. He wouldn't have kind of run off to a completely different area of the carnival. He would have just have kind of maybe just kind of like I think he knows Pixie well enough to know that sometimes, like, straying too far is probably counterintuitive to finding her. So I, so I assume we just eventually see each other? Correct, yep. Okay, uh, in that case, uh, upon seeing uh, Pixie, Vic says, Hi, Pix. <laughs> yeah, sometimes a little bit too good at that. I had no notion as to where you were. Well, find anything interesting? Did I ask you to come along? Uh, what? Did I ask you to come along? Well, no, no you didn't. But, you know, I'm interested in what you're doing and... You know, we've only got an hour, so Looking just. Well, but this is all I found. Well, him the file. Oh, I mean, can we use it to cut Mel? I mean, you're the you're the expert here, so I suppose you'll tell me. Looking it over, Even you could quite easily cut a metal chain with it by using a blunt force object against it. Are. And I never lose those. Hi, Pix. Uh, did did you bring anything with you, or did you? I know I picked those. I know I picked my lockpicks. Where are they? Are you sh are you sure that the foxes didn't rob you blind? Well, they didn't take this, and I'm jingling the money back I took from. Um, Thank you. Yeah, but oh, <laughs> nice. Uh, but, uh, yeah, but I mean, you got that after you with the foxes. Uh, foxes could now do a matter of things off you, and, you know, they can't really see, see the gold. It's in a pouch. I mean, um, they like shiny things as much as you do. Where Pixie got this? What was that, sorry? How would Victor know? What I think thing? he just assumes that you stole it at this point because it's something that, that you. That would be quite fair, to be honest, yeah. I think he just assumes that I it's stolen. I Pix, come on, I know you well enough. That. Like, I don't know who you stole it from, but it's, yeah, I can't, can't tell it's not your pouch. I've seen it often enough. I'm going to lean into Edward and like, she, apparently she does this a lot. You didn't know when I took it. Well, I don't, don't, don't matter if I, don't, if I know when you took it. You took it from someone else. And yeah, it was after Foxy. All right, okay. Well, you see, you've proven my point. Foxy could have taken it. But... But Foxy has no fingers, no thumb. It's a magical flying fox, Pix. Do you not think it could Psst, grow? No. Psst. Oh, but it, hey, uh, you hear that? Kind of somewhere, kind of like a, kind of like a catalyst in, in the background over there. Hey, over here. All right, all right, all right. I'm about uh, who's there? You turn around and you look down and you see on top of a little table in front of one of the stalls is a squirrel. Of course. Hi! <laughs> Hello there, a squirrely friend. Uh, what, uh, what, can, what can we do for you, if, if anything? You guys want to make a little bit of coin? Well... No. I mean, she... don't reckon she's going to say no, but... Uh, uh, just as an just as an entrepreneur, got to ask, uh, what's uh, what's what's the risk? Yeah, don't get nothing for free. You know what twenty one was. I mean, technically, dude, you do get nothing for free. Well, uh, uh, stop. You just blew my mind. Stop, uh, Edward. You ain't helping my negotiations here. But now twenty one. In his little squirrely hand, he has three D8s. The number between 20 and 22. Mm. Correct. You can count, and that is good. So, 
what you do is you roll two of these dice here. He rolls them. He gets a one and a seven. Then it's one silver piece to roll another one. Everyone keeps rolling, it keeps adding to the pots. The winner is the one whoever gets 21 or gets closest to 21 without being knocked out. If you go over 21, you lose. So, try to make some cards. I only hear ping. I don't know, dude. This squirrel kind of seems nuts to me. I take offense to that. I don't, I don't mind him. Uh, he's just got, uh, got a bit of a fishy sense of humor, does Edward. <laughs> oh, come on, you want to play? Put your money where your mouth is? Yeah. I. Do we need anything else to do I can pick? Or do you think you'd be able to make do with what you got? Um, before responding to Vic, Vic is actually finally opening the bag and having a look at how much money she took. Roll 1d10, 4d4. And silver, 13 copper. Oh well. And taking a good art. What do you say, Vic? Vic? Uh, uh, so sorry, Pix. <laughs> kind of spaced out there. What was your question? You, you asked something? Y yeah, I, I was asking, uh, do you need anything else for, you know, later? I mean, yes, what I told you. all right, all what right. I don't know why I'm missing. I can't be missing. Well, as long as you're able to make do with what you got for now, uh, we can suppose we can play a couple of rounds of this squirrel. If we haven't, ain't got anything else bad to do. One round. All right, all right. All right, okay. uh, all right, squirrel. How do you want me to pay? Well, I mean, you're the one with, with, with the pocket money. I'm putting down silver pieces. Like one for Victor and one for The squirrel matches the looks of the other two. You two playing as well? No way, dude. Oh, come on, Edward. Where's your sense of uh, competitive spirit? How about you, Snakey? Uh, no. I. Uh... Uh, I, I shouldn't gamble. I oh, come on. Come on, Miko. You'll start eventually. Fine then. Let's begin. Oh, I, I see roll. yourselves. Bobby. You two roll 2d8. Fuck, you roll that. Oh, wow. Oh, those are d6s. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that's uh, that's more like it. <laughs> okay, the squirrel looks over them. Ah. Okay. Okay, we can do this. Everyone, one silver piece in. Actually, so that means if the pot is currently going to was free silver round two, six silver. We need the total win pot. Already put silver down. Alright, so, uh, uh, You say roll, then pay. You said nothing for paying first. Ah, you gotta put your pot in. Why you don't get your rolls? Can't have you cheating. Uh, well, pick, so can... No, you try cheating. Yeah. And just rolls another one. Screw all weights though, his arms folded, weights for the silver to be put down. Ah, oh, fine, I'll suppose. You oh. say, roll, pay silver, roll. I paid silver, I roll. Oh, yeah. This is why I never gamble with the squirrel, my fairy friend. Silver for every dice you roll. No, yes. you only say for third dice. Hi, oh, I, I come on, let's not. Uh, 
and then Pixie's just grabbing the two silvers and flying off. Or the run, going off. Not flying. Just putting them back in her pocket and like, oh, whatever. Oh. Make a wisdom save. Be seeing a 11. Oh. <laughs> you feel your face start to contort and you feel it turn into a permanent frown. I should fly away. Um, you know that I'm a fae, just to make sure. I'm not humanoid. So a, a face. Okay. <laughs> Making I hope. sure that you're using a spell that actually works on me. Uh, well, it looks like a uh, little pix uh, has kind of lost uh, uh, appetite for, for the sport. Uh, yeah, I reckon I'm probably going to uh, back out myself if you don't mind. Uh, um, that, he takes your silver. But house wins, you're lost. He scampers away. Oh, uh, fine. Oh, I took both silvers. I took the one I put down for... Um, In that case, he will simply sit there looking at you. Uh, so, so, you started to play, you got to pay up the pot. Ah, uh, god dang your picks. Ah, uh, uh, fine, how much is it? Three silvers, plus the one for the additional dice roll makes four silvers. Hi, she's going to owe me later. Fine, take take the bloody silver. He takes them and then he runs. Uh, wish pick. Ah, I mean, not that I did, expected anything else of her, but... Uh, I don't want to draw more attention to ourselves here than is necessary. Especially since, uh, well, you know, don't really have to say it. I suppose we should go and see where she's gone off to. Oh, actually, a uh, bit kind of... You said that there was like a clock near each of the stalls, right? Didn't you, DM? Yes, I did. Right, uh, Vic's going to kind of look to see how much time is left before the big top event. It's today about half this hour has passed. So you're another half an hour. Alright, well, looks like we've still got half an hour. Well, I suppose... Uh, Kind of doing what I do, and I just chase after Pix and see where she's run off to. Uh, does Victor still see Pix in the uh, general vicinity? So yeah, you generally track her. I, I Pix. So. I, I Pix. Uh, you shouldn't. I. It's on. I mean, to be fair, I can't say I've always been a good spot. What's wrong with your face, actually? You kind of look a little bit, uh... That squirrel cheat. I mean, to be fair, you did take... Did take the money well, you explained the rules of the game, quite clearly. No, he said roll two dice, then pay one silver to roll one more dice. Yeah, but that's like one more silver each, and... No, nothing of silver paying silver before, they didn't say. So they were cheating a little liar. Why you never gamble against a squirrel, my fairy friend? Oh, you be quiet, you stupid one. Hi, Pix. Come on now, no need to be impolite. Oh, oh well, uh, I covered... Uh, I covered you anyway. Uh... Why? Well, how oh, Pix, because... No contract, well, well, Pix, because, well, we don't really know what's going on here. I mean, not beyond what that Kelsteam told us, and, well, we're probably going to be causing a bit of, st of a stir recently, and, well, less people that know our face for the wrong reasons, you know, less likely it comes back to bite us. And I don't, I mean, I know that you don't much care about that, but I just want to get that thing I need and uh, be on my merry way. I mean, I like making a scene, but, you know, sometimes we got to pick and choose when we draw an audience. I'm not exactly drawing an audience. Well, if you keep doing stuff like that, you might. Just kind of takes two or three people to say that, you know, just uh, suspicious little fairies kind of, you know, 
fly, flying about, uh, doing shenanigans and something like that. Be when doing shenanigans, the squirrel was. Yeah, but they'll see it that way. I mean, as you say, they're kind of cheats like us and, well, sometimes you've got to just try and keep a low profile if you can. Uh, uh, making the odds in my favor, but I don't cheat. I did not cheat. Oh, well, it's uh, it's all sorted now in any case. So, uh, gang, what do we want to do for this? Probably got like half an hour before we got to get to Big Top, so... Anything to take your fancy in the meantime? How far away are we from the Big Top? You're pretty much right where you were before, so you're all within sight of the entrance, which is just there. Right in the middle. Oh, the snail racing looks fun. Hi, why did you say you wanted to go there, Eddie? Snail racing looks fun. Well, I mean, to be fair, nothing like a little bit of a slow ride before some high octane action. Ah, I suppose we can head over there for half an hour. Ah, unless there's anywhere you want to go, Miko. No, that sounds fun. All right, uh, I'm going to go to snail racing then. You guys make your way over to snail racing. <clears throat> the grandstands next to the race course are filled with cheering furgoers, ringing bells, swinging rattles and waving flags. Eight giant snails have their shells scrubbed by pixies. And suddenly, a klaxon sounds. The pixies flutter away, and the snails suddenly take off from the starting point. They move extremely quickly, not slow whatsoever, spinning around the circle, making circuit after circuit as the crowd cheers and jeers. Where are the pixies? Are they sitting inside that ring or outside? Uh, they are fluttered away towards where the Little, um, I forgot the name again. The cart is over there. Okay. It's settled down. They're chatting amongst themselves. Do those pixies have double sets of wings? Do they have double sets of wings? Uh, yes, they do. Pixie's making her way over there. Walking or flying over the middle of the race, or...? Walking over the bandstand on the side. Fair enough. Uh, uh, flying, sorry. Flying over the bandstand on the side, not over the race. Ah, oh, you flutter over. They don't really pay you any heed whatsoever. They're just chattering away. Trying to sit down on top of the wagon and... Sitting above them and like trying to hear the conversation. They are talking about how unfair it is for the mime. Let's go. Oh, it's a shame I was there when he was trying to propose. He tried to speak and suddenly his voice was gone. Oh god, I know. I felt so sorry for the mermaid. Oh. They look so sweet together, but... They just can't stand each other. Well, be, to be with each other now, it just hurts too much. They continue to uh, natter on in the same kind of way. Mostly just lamenting... What happened with the mine? Quite 
quite contentious since then, to listen to them. So they are best in their thing. Edward will just be too engrossed in the snail racing to pay attention. Um, just to say, like, for observing the snow racing, do we need to punch a ticket for this, or is this just something that we can kind of, like, spectate from the entrance? You can just spectate from the entrance, and either way, the race is already in progress. You come too late. Ah, dang it. Well, well looks like we can't place any bets, but, uh, well, I mean, we're just here to kill time anyway, so... Oh, I'll be honest, <laughs> those scams are a lot faster than I thought they'd be, Don't but... kill time, dude. Time kills us. Yeah... Yeah, I would, uh... Gotta talk about, uh, your outlook. Yeah, you sound like a little bit, uh... Sound a little bit glum there. I've just got to enjoy the moment, you know? Don't leave, a sudden huge cheer as one of the snails passes another lap. And then the rest of them come to a st slow stop as they also pass the same point. And they all then, the jockeys get off. Some of them go mingling with the crowd. Some of them come over towards where the pixies are. The winner, in particular, a couple of goblins come out from the centre tree that they were racing around and hands them a prize, congratulating them before then resuming to their posts. Wish I could move that fast. Not so good on land. Discontinue nattering amongst themselves. Some of them flutter away and start to clean some of the shells yet again on the snails. One of them looks up towards you, Pixie. Oh, hey there. I can't say I know you. No. Who are you? Oh, I'm Mingles. Oh. I'm Pixie. Hey. Right. Do you work here as well? Are you one of the new ones? No. Oh, fair enough. Are uh, their wings the same color? Like both types same color? Uh, no. All of the w little wings on the backs are all a like, golden color, whereas the larger wings that they use to actually fly with are all a mixture of different colors. You have golden too. I do too. Try to give me different wings. Uh, yeah, these are meant to be ones mostly just for staff. But I thought oh. you were too. I just That's said what... I want gold, and they gave me golden wings instead. I don't know why. Oh. oh well. I'm sure the goblins won't get in trouble for it. Mm -hmm. Probably not, anyway. Maybe they will. Yeah, it won't be that bad, I'm sure. Should try to join the races when they actually start next time. They take people from the audience to come and race to fill in for jockeys. Can win some nice prizes. Maybe. Nice to meet you. Ah, nice oh, put them in the swimming rings. They turn off to do their work and pixies also. Yeah, I'd say at this Fine. point they flutter off to join the rest to get back to cleaning the shit snails. Yeah, they still all fly off. Yeah. They are real pixies, right? They're not fairy, they're pixies. They are real pixies. Okay. So they're even smaller than Yes. Mm. Any that match pixies coloring? No. They all have paler skin, more along the lines of what you see from most elves and humans. Fly over towards the group again.
Hi, Pix. Uh, yeah, up to much. You know, to oh, <laughs> sorry. I noticed. Uh, kind of talk. I see some. Uh, I don't know. I always like you over there. Hi. No. Oh. Well, I mean. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, was, I mean, was. They, they say, the gold wings are only for people who work. See, hmm. all of them have gold wings. Well, well, so they, uh, kind of odd that they would just uh, give you gold wings when you ask them, considering that they're supposed to be reserved for the staff. Huh? I reckon that might work in our favor, actually. Hmm. I've actually been the reason why. Maybe it'd be, be less likely to be noticed if you're kind of in a place where you shouldn't be. They just kind of assume you work there. Although, then again, it kind of seems like the, the staff are quite tight knit. So, you might need to be a little bit creative if you're kind of calling out like that. They were talking about the mine. Ah, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the. I fellow lost his voice, yeah? Yes. That's a I'm shame. Too sorry for the mine. I kind of was thinking about that. It kind of struck me as odd. Uh, mine presumably works, yeah? I wonder why he lost his voice. I mean, I can understand, you know, people... You know, like uh, Kelstein was saying, you know... You know, you kind of hear without... About a ticket, something... He's kind of taken from. Kelstein totally has his voice. Oh, yeah, Cal Steam does. I mean, Cal Steam had sort of ad wings also, well, at least as I recall. Cal Steam totally had the man's voice. Didn't he say he stole it? Well, I mean, well, they're Kenku. They're, that's kind of their thing. They, well, actually, well, at least, uh, I don't know where I heard that, actually. They kind of type voices, I, I think. I, I don't know. Kind of sound like... Um, yeah, I, I don't know, I assume that's how they did that thing with, uh, with trying to convince us uh, to help him. But why take a mime's voice? They don't need it anyway. Well, well yeah, I mean, I won't just say it for that reason, Miko. It's more that, why take why take the voice of a staff member at all? I mean, presumably they oh, ain't doing oh, anything. Oh, I know. So they can't talk. They must know a secret. Well, I suppose uh, smart money would be, and that'd be an explanation. Yeah. Hi, right, how long ago? Hearing music in the distance. Hi. Well, Coming from the center of the carnival. Sounds like it's almost showtime. Well, well, uh, well, you know the plan picks. Uh, you head back over towards uh, uh, towards the whatever with Mister. Which is keeping his pocket watch, and uh, we'll go to the big top, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to put on enough enough of a show to provide a suitable distraction for you. Is Pixie still frowning? Pixie still what, sorry? Frowning. Yes. And also, Pix. Uh, no, that kind of got you in a bit of a tizz earlier with uh, so with the scroll, but you kind of need to try and line up a bit, you know? I'm happy now. I just want to pick you. Oh, why a long face then? You kind of kind of look like... <laughs> you just got permanent frowning when saying you're happy now? I am happy. Well... Basically, yeah. Well, <laughs> well Pixar, uh, I don't know he what... Doesn't... Recognize that her picture. I I don't know what to tell you, Pix. Uh, you're saying you're happy, but it looks like you're about to try and uh, gouge my eyes out of that file. It's kind of thing sending me mixed signals. Oh, hmm. well, uh, anyway, we can work it out later. So, uh, off you pop, and uh, I suppose we'll be on our way too. Well, Victor's going to start heading towards the direction of 
the bigs are presuming that uh, Pixie is going to carry out what was discussed earlier. Yeah, same. So. Coming along until we pass the whole of the mansions. At that point, sneaking in the back. Okay, Dokes, we'll start by following Team A, which is the majority of the group. 